I said two Big Macs and one quarter pounder. Because <laughs> I'd blown the order. In the movie, there are all these like really crazy scenarios. So I wanted to see if you've ever done a couple of the things from the movie. Pretended to have a job that you didn't have. Uh, I don't think so. I think no. I've managed to be quite honest. You're quite about honest lady. Like, I like that. Being an actor is sometimes a bit difficult as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I know you're actors, so it kind of goes with your career. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when I, because I've always been, you know, look, I was a kid actor, and that's a job that I had. And but when I was writing a script in my early 20s, while I was working on Happy Days, it was about fast food. And so I was on hiatus, I grew a mustache, my hair got kind of long so I didn't look too much like Richie. I wore fake glasses and I got a job at McDonald's. And I was terrible <laughs> and there was so much pressure. I was pretty good at some of the jobs but working the counter was a struggle for me. And I remember one lady came up to me, no one ever recognized me until this lady. And she came up and she gave me this long order and I'm trying to do it and all of a sudden she reaches over and she grabs my hand and she says, honey, what happened? Did they cancel your show? <gasps> and I said, oh no, we're picked up for next season, but I'm just writing a project and so forth. And, so, and then she said, I said two Big Macs and one quarter pounder. Because <laughs> I'd blown the order. Have you ever stolen something? Plans for the Death Star doesn't count. Oh, <laughs> that was great fun stealing those things. <laughs> right. uh, Maybe from set. A few high fives in my time. No, oh. no, no. <laughs> TVs. Uh, no, uh, have I stolen anything? <laughs> uh, there's always the temptation when you're on set to just take like a, a little, a little piece of, of memorabilia. But um, but if I admit to any of them, I may never work again. That's true. So you I'm gonna probably plead I'm gonna say stum. <laughs> say stum. I'm gonna keep stum. Keep stum on that one. <laughs> I, I, was, I was very young and and I was <laughs> reprimanded <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, yeah, actually. Yeah. Big time. We got a big spanking. I thought I saw a kleptomaniac over here. Yeah. <laughs> Just once. Watch the forks. Once. <laughs> I have stolen from movie sets, and I always justify it as criminals do uh, by uh, by basically saying, "Hey, I'm the director." <laughs> this movie wouldn't have even happened without I'm me. I'm gonna take this cryptex from the Da Vinci Code set. Oh, oh did, is that what you took? Yeah, I took one. Yeah, I, feel like I got a few things. I got a little cache of, of uh, cool stuff. A nice collection. Corner. Have you ever obsessed over someone, a celebrity? Uh, I think probably growing up. Oh. I have to say that seeing Titanic and Romeo and Juliet oh. and the uh, Mr. DiCaprio, pretty uh, pretty defining films in any young woman's adolescence. You're speaking to my heart right now. I totally agree with that. Have you ever believed in a conspiracy theory? <laughs> no. Why? Why? Why are you saying that? Like aliens. Saying that? <laughs> <laughs> that Dante's Inferno is going to happen, actually. The aliens are going to come and get us. I believe that deeply. Oh. No, 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 not really. Possibly. Uh, um, have you ever done something crazy in the name of love? Yeah, of course. Uh, every every day you wake up and you renew your love, and, and that could be crazy to some people. Right. That's that's what love's about. Yeah. Right? Because if you're not crazy in love, then what's the point? Well, kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, kind of crazy. Um, but, but, you know, but also kind of cute. Because when Cheryl and I met, I was in high school. It was all pretty innocent and pretty young. But I, I w one time I decided I was going to try to show her my love through film. So I took my Super 8 camera and I, got my, and I got my friend to go with me and I climbed this, I thought it was a mountain, if you look at it now it's just kind of a big hill, but I put in this corny music and I, and I wrote this kind of poetry that would go with it and oh climbed the mountain and it was all about our love and uh, so that was kind of crazy. That's so cute! I love that so much! <laughs> click left to see his take on Florence Italia, Inferno style, or click right to watch Felicity Jones show off her Star Wars Kung Fu.